Okay guys, now that you've read about repos and understand the basics of how they work, let's demonstrate visually with a simulation. Are you ready? Let's do a repo. First things first. Any professional trader, first thing, would look at the Bloomberg screen. Here it is. If you've ever used Bloomberg, this screen should seem very familiar. This particular screenshot is for a repo transaction of this 4 and 5 eighths treasury note. Now you can put any kind of transaction in Bloomberg, even repos. Since this screen gives info on a repo of this particular note, you'll see at the bottom how much the note repos for, meaning how much you can borrow using the note as collateral, and the interest required. Looking deeper at the details here, you'll see that a repo of this note requires 5.16% interest and 1.02 collateral. That 1.02 collateral, that's the margin. Also, you'll see here that the note is trading at a premium, 100.4. That's important. Remember, this Bloomberg screen is for this particular note, this 4 and 5 eighths treasury bond. Okay, And you'll see here that it is trading at a premium, 100.4. So what we can do is we can take that price, divide by the collateral amount to account for the margin, and calculate that we can repo the note for 98, excuse me, 98.4385 which means that a million face value of this note would allow us to borrow $984,385.16. And we can calculate the interest by taking that amount and multiplying it by the 5.16% repo interest for one day, remember, right? We're only gonna repo for one day. If we were gonna do two days, then we do it for two days, three days, we do it for three days. But in this case, since we're gonna do one day, we take the 5.16% interest for one day, use a 360-day convention. Hopefully you noticed that. That's the case with all treasury bonds. We use a 360-day year convention. And calculate the interest, which is $141.10. Okay, so now let's do a repo. But you know what? Let's keep things simple. I showed you the Bloomberg screen to show you what it looks like in real life for an actual bond that's out there trading in the market. But for now, just to keep things simple and keep the calculations simple, let's use these numbers. One million face value of a note that pays 4.7% interest. Now that's the bond. It's a million dollar bond with 4.7% interest. Repo margin, if we were to repo this bond, would be $20,000. So that means the note would repo for $980,000. And the repo interest per day is $124. So let's do this repo. Okay, so if you had one million face value of this note, you could, at these terms, borrow $980,000 for a day and pay $124.10 of interest. But what if you don't have the note? Well, if you don't have the note, why would you even be considering this, right? I mean, you must be thinking you, you can't borrow without collateral. Well, not so fast. I'm going to show you a little trick that traders use every day on the market. You can actually repo someone else's note. Now, you might be thinking, what's the point? Well, here's how and why. It's today. That's you. You own a hedge fund. Nice. Good work. You probably drive a Rolls Royce and fly private. You want to get your hands on this note. Problem is, you only want to use a little bit of money to do so. Why is that? Well, it'll become clearer in a moment. Just remember my example in a prior lesson about that hedge fund buying Apple stock. And if you remember that, this should become clear. So you want to use this little money to buy this note. Problem is that you need to buy it from someone. And let's say that someone is Fidelity because they happen to own a bunch of this note. You could buy it from them. So you call your friends at Fidelity and you say, hey, I want to buy your million dollar treasury. And they say, hey, sure, why not? But they want the full cost of the note, which is a million dollars. You say, sure, just wait a moment. I'll wire you the million dollars. But you don't have the million. Or maybe you do, but you don't want to use it. And if that's the case, you'll see why in a second. But you know where you can get a million dollars? Your friends at Goldman Sachs have lots and lots of millions. So you tell your friends at Goldman, hey, can I borrow some money? And your friends at Goldman say, sure. But what are you posting as collateral? And you say, well, 
I have a million dollar U.S. Treasury bond. And they say, okay, well, we'll do a repo with you. We, we buy your bond today for $980,000, right? Not the full million, remember, because they need their margin. So it's a million minus that 20,000. It's 980,000, okay? And tomorrow, we'll buy it back from you for 980000 But we need $124.10 of interest for that one day. You say, sure, that's a deal. Please wire me the 980000 and I'll give you the bond. They say, sure. Okay, so they send you the 980000 You immediately send uh, Goldman's 980000 along with the 20000 from your pocket to Fidelity so you can buy their note. Now, Fidelity gets their money and they give you the note. You immediately send the note to Goldman because you need to pony up the collateral. Remember, they bought the bond for one day. And Fidelity, by the way, they're now out of the picture. You bought their bond, they're gone. They have their money, you have the bond, transaction closed, okay, in terms of Fidelity. Now, you own the bond that Goldman is holding for one day. Now, tomorrow comes, okay? Goldman calls you up and says, okay, it's tomorrow. We got your bond. You got our money. Let's reserve the, let's reverse, excuse me, the transaction. We're ready to give you back your bond. We want our money back. The problem is you no longer have any money. You had to pay all of Goldman's money plus some of your own to Fidelity to get the bond in the first place. So now what are you exchanging with Goldman? You've got a problem, right? Well, not really. Remember, you still own this bond, which means you can sell it. So you call your friends at Bank of America. And, you know, Bank of America has a lot of money and loves holding U.S. Treasuries. So you say, hey, Bank of America, I'd like to sell you my million dollar U.S. Treasury for a million dollars. And they say, sure, send over the bond and we'll wire the million dollars. Then you get back on the line with Goldman and say, okay, Send over the bond so I can wire you back your money. And they do. At that moment, you send over the bond to Bank of America, and they wire the money, a million dollars. And then you send not the whole million, but 980000 back to Goldman. Remember, that's what you borrowed, not a million, 980000 Plus the interest you owe them for their lending you the 980000 But remember, remember this you now have back the margin you spent. Plus one more thing, you have the interest that the bond paid for one day because remember, you are the real owner of the bond. Goldman wasn't. They were just holding it as collateral. So they do not get to keep that one day of interest that the bond owner gets to collect because you're the bond owner. So let's talk about this bond interest. Remember that bonds pay interest and the interest owed to the bondholder for that day accrues to you. And that was actually the whole point of why you just did what you did. It was the reason behind the transaction. Because the whole transaction is that you just took a position in a $1 million bond with only $20,000 out of your pocket. And why'd you do that? Well, first of all, that's 50 times leverage. So, you know, when we hear about big hedge funds and big financial firms getting 30, 40, 50 times leverage on their deals and on their investments. They're obviously not getting that from the bank. The way they're getting it is by doing these types of transactions, repos and securities lending transactions. Now think about this. One million face value of the note that pays 4.7% interest, that's what you took a position in with only $20,000. Now that 4.7% interest on the million dollars that's $47,000 per year of coupon interest. So that's $130.56 per day. You only paid Goldman $124 for the day for the repo in interest. So the difference that you put in your pocket is $6.56. That's your profit. Now that might not seem like a lot, but let's annualize this. 20 days per month, 20 working days that the market's open. 12 months per year, that's $1,573, which by the way, is 7.8% of the 20,000 you put out of your pocket to take a position in that bond. Not a bad little business with a pretty tidy return.